For any of you that don't like food waste, this is going to be the video for you. There is now a big app that's going around called Too Good To Go, where basically every single day you can log onto it in any local restaurants, fast food services, any calf or deli that are signed up to Too Good To Go will basically allow you to buy their food that is going out of date at reduced price. So I wanted to check just how good the offers actually are, whether or not you get enough value for your money, whether or not you actually get nice food or you just get the cast offs. And I wanted to do this for a whole week. So in this video, what I've done is I've spent a whole week eating food just from Too Good To Go. I'm gonna tell you how much it cost, how much we saved, as opposed to how much it would have cost if we just bought the food when it was fresh, and what the food was actually like. So I'm just gonna quickly show you what Too Good To Go is, and then I'll show you the food that we got over the course of the week. So just taking a look at this video here, you can just see just how Too Good To Go works. You can look around the app, see what stores are there and who has surplus food. You can then purchase your bag, reserve your meal, and then go and collect your food. And I do want to just say how easy it was. Every single place I went to to get my food, it wasn't a task to do it. You literally walk in the door, say you've got your two good to go, and they will just have a look at your little code and give you your bag straight away. It is very nice and simple. And if I just take you through the app over here as well, you can see that when I was looking, I only had one bit of food available on the Monday. So I wasn't really too much fancy in that. So I just kept having a look around on the app and had a look to see what I fancied getting. It is very simple. It tells you roughly how much things cost there, but I think it's a little bit off, especially where it tells you how much they originally are meant to cost. You can order for the next day. You can order for the current day. It all just depends on how much is available. There used to be a site where you could go on it and it would allow you to get email alerts signed up for certain places, but that doesn't seem to really work at the moment unfortunately because I did used to use that quite frequently a few years ago but you can see here from prep four pound it was going to cost me for this bag for the next day so I made sure I went and grabbed that so it's quite easy you just pay on your phone as you can see there I'm paying through Apple Pay and then we're all confirmed and then all we have to do is wait for the time frame for the next day and then we can go pick up our bag so you can see just by looking here you'll always have the little orders thing at the bottom you'll get your emails confirmed through everything like that all sorted and then literally as you can see it says here at the bottom collection starts at 1 30 i got there around about five to two i think just went straight up to the checkout asked for my bag and then they handed it to me so i did also later on that day book a carvery for the night time for the next day but you'll see in a minute just how much we got from prep which made me cancel that carvery order now when it comes to cancelling an order it is incredibly easy to do they do not care if you cancel it as long as you cancel it within two hours. So if we just take a look here, you can see all I had to do is cancel the reservation. It was two hours before, full refund, almost instantly, no issues at all with that. So from the first day, you can see the prep little bag over there in the corner. We managed to get two kale mac and cheese sort of things. And then we got two baguettes as well, or two wraps that were... You can see here we got a Swedish meatball hot wrap. We got here falafel and halloumi hot wrap and then we've got two macaroni cheese kale and cauliflowers now if we just look at the total cost of this just to make it look a little bit to put it into perspective because that cost us four pounds to get that selection of meals right there and if we look at the swedish meatball wrap that normally costs you five pound fifty so we've already made out money back there you then have the falafel and halloumi which is also five pound fifty and then the two cauliflower kale mac and cheese boxes were £5.50, oh sorry, £6.95 each. So in total, that whole little order there would have cost us £24.90 and we paid £4 for it. So it was already off to a good start. All the food was really nice. You can see just why I cancelled my dinner time for that day. I had enough just to keep me going for the day there. So I was quite happy just to keep them up. The next day I ordered from Zapatista Burrito Bar, I think it's called. And we got a lot of food from here. If I just load up the order here when I'm purchasing it, you can see it cost us £4.30, a little bit more, and they said it would be equivalent to £12.90s worth of food. I didn't know what that was going to be. I didn't know if we were going to get two, three burritos, whether or not we were going to get some maybe nachos or whatever sides they have available. But we got that ordered, and I went and grabbed it the next day. And you can see here from this, this picture, we got two massive boxes. Now, I mean, they were comfortably this deep. Of just meat meat rice and beans so it was basically a burrito but in a box and we got 
two big chunks of them. I, I'll be honest when I say this, you could comfortably have made four or five burritos out of them two boxes really easily. So that's exactly what I did. I grabbed some wraps, put them in, heated up the food and had burritos basically for the next two days. Now just to keep it fairly even, because I might not have packed the burritos as well as I could have, I'm just going to say that equates to three burritos. So three burritos from here equates to £21. So you can see there another huge saving coming in and if we just take a look at the table now to see our total that we've got going on so far, you can see we've got our prep there and we've got our 30 burritos in our boxes as well. The next day I decided to get something a bit sweeter so I decided to go for a deli calf in the hope that we get some dessert and that's exactly what we got and if I zoom in on this picture here you can see we've got two walnut brownies and we've got a eating mess over here as well. Now I'll be honest they did still go to waste, they did go in the bin, they were not very nice at all but that is one of the downsides of Too Good To Go. From time to time you're going to get food you don't like, you're going to get food you might be allergic to so you need to always double check with the staff when you get there. You're just going to, there's no choice with what you get. You can choose where you're going and what you're buying or where you're buying from but you can't choose what you're buying. You get whatever is left and I was lucky up to this point in the week to get food I liked but me and my flatmates did not like them the brownies or the eating mess so that did get thrown away but it was around about two pounds each for each one of them in the shop so that's six pound there so we did still make some profit on that little bag in the end despite the fact that we didn't even finish it but luckily the later on that day i had a gingerinos queued up now if you're ever in newcastle go to gingerinos they have the nicest pizza you'll ever have and you can see we got three slices i don't know what was on them this one in the background was pepperoni, it was just hidden in the little corner. But you can see we've got three slices. Slices are normally £3.50 each, so that cost us, would normally cost us £10.50 for that. But we've got three slices, just warm them up. It's nice and easy and nice and simple, and it's very nice to eat. So I was very happy with that. Just take a look again over here at the bag, at the table, so you can see so far this week we had a lot of food and it was looking very decent very cheap food compared to what you'd normally pay for it and trust me you'll understand that in a few seconds when we look at the total price but looking at the food there we were very well fed for this week the pizza lasted me two days the burritos lasted me two days the pret lasted me a whole day with me dinner and tea i really didn't have any complaints and the final day that was actually my favorite meal in the end was this carvery that i picked up from the goose stone house and pizza place or whatever it's called you can see we pretty much got everything this tub yet again was about this deep mainly just the bottom layer was just mash but you can see how much food we got from this i think it was three pounds 70 or something along them lines for this a carvery from this place normally costs you 10 pound 27 so you can see there yet again huge amount of profit coming in or huge amount of savings i should say coming in but you can just see how much food was actually stuffed into this. It was boiling hot even by the time I got back to the flat. And it was very nice. I'm definitely going to be going there again. But we just take a look there at the final table that we had with everything on. You can see we had our bag over in the corner from prep. We had our 30 burritos in the middle. Our filled little section of dessert. Our pizzas. And then our carvery down at the bottom. And I'll tell you now. Our total cost for this week's worth of food was 18 pounds 18 pence if we'd have bought this all straight from the shop on the day maybe an hour before when i actually got all this it would have cost us 72 pounds and 67 pence so you can see there's a huge amount of savings there and it really is just so simple and easy if you're ever struggling on something to make for tea and you want something really nice something where you don't have to think about it and you want a bit of a surprise I definitely recommend downloading Too Good To Go and just having a look in your area and seeing what's available. Some places I think have Greg's on, for some reason Newcastle doesn't, makes no sense to me, but there's always a huge selection of things you can buy and if you go on there, 9 times out of 10, if something's available you can buy multiple of it, they've separated it out to veggie and non-veggie food, so if you wanted that carvery for example, you could have got the veggie friendly one, there was just a huge amount of different options available on the app so i'd definitely say give it a go especially if you're in a big city there'll be plenty of things on there to get it'll save you a lot of money and it is still the same quality food you'd expect if you went there on the day and bought it 
If you enjoyed the video, please do be sure to leave a like. Let me know if you want to see any other videos like this, or if you never want to see a video like this again. But it's one I definitely enjoy doing. It saved me quite a bit of money and made me some nice meals, so I'm more than happy to do more videos like this. Let me know what recommendations you got down below of videos we can do in the future, and I'll see you next time.